This is the Ape Man 3800 Lumen 1080p projector. Let's take it out of the box. Okay, in the box we get a set of AV cables for composite video. This end plugs into the projector and this end into your source. It could be a VCR or a DVD player if you wanted to go over composite. They give you an HDMI cable right here. It's just a standard HDMI to HDMI like that. Your power cord, two prong, going to a figure eight type plug right there. Remote control over here. All the buttons are very easy to access and press nicely. The user's manual, of course, and the projector. And just for an idea of the size, here's my hand on top of it. So. It is a small, very easy to lug around projector. There's a lens cap on there, of course. You can adjust your focus and your keystone back over here. There's an adjustment for that. And you have your buttons here, which will go over. So you have your power button, forward, back, left, right, up, down, all kinds of stuff like that. On the back, there are two speakers with a reflex port right there. Over on this side is the power connection. Underneath, this can be mounted atop a tripod if you wanted to, standard quarter inch mount, or this foot can come out like that to adjust the angle that you want it at. And over here on the other side is a micro SD or TF card slot, a USB port. Uh, over here is your HDMI port your AV port, and a headphone jack, as well as a VGA connector. So I have a USB flash drive. We'll plug that in and see what that can do for us. Now, I don't really have a great place to show this except for really the ceiling. So it's a good thing this has a tripod port because I have a tripod I can mount it to. And even a little rickety thing like this definitely will support it. I've already tested it on there. So I'm going to go in a better location so I can show you what this can do. But just so you can see it on over here and it is projecting out. You can see just over here it is projecting no problem. So I'll set this up in a darker location and we'll get going. So right here is a music folder. I have different things in here. I'll play this first just so you can see the uh, sound quality of it. So this is running a slideshow right now from the USB flash drive from a trip to the Bronx Zoo that was taken recently. Color rendering is pretty good. I really can't complain. It does seem to be pretty good, but one thing that does bother me a little bit, which may just be a function of it or I don't know, is the focus is very, very soft on the bottom part of the picture. Now that may just be the way I have it set up. I don't know for certain. But as far as the rest of the picture goes, especially in the center, it looks great. Here's something that uh, is probably instantly recognizable, but I really can't show you any more than these few seconds. Over here is a video that was taken from a security camera inside of a house. So the picture itself is displaying properly and the sound does play just fine. I have it muted, but of course the quality of the video from that camera is not that good. So, you know, garbage in, garbage out. Fortunately, I was able to fix the problem with the focus. It was very simple. It was a matter of adjusting the keystone setting on it. You can see right here where it is at the bottom where it says 101 strings. If I move it just like that, everything is in absolutely perfect focus. And now I'll adjust the focus ring to get that really nice and sharp. And now everything is displaying in very good focus through and through. Again, if I move it back, it gets blurry at the bottom. But that also may just be the tripod that I have this on that is not, you know, absolutely straight up and down. 
So just by adjusting that, I was able to get it absolutely perfect dialed in. So all around, it looks pretty good. So this is how I had the projector mounted on this crummy old tripod. And if you look, this is not at a right angle to that. It's a little off kilter. And that's why the focus was off, because the keystone gets messed up on that because of the angle it's being displayed. It has to be displayed straight on to the uh, surface where you're projecting. Of course, you can get a screen for this if you wanted to um, and do that. Uh, and then you could set it upright. So it would be something like that. But you don't have to use this on a tripod. It works equally well on a tabletop with the extendable foot on the bottom there. Now, as with all projectors, of course, you do want to use this in as dark of a room as possible. But as you saw before, uh, I had it on a tripod pointing up to the ceiling. So even if you don't have a projection display, uh, you know, a screen for it or anything like that, uh, even a white sheet, which, believe it or not, I don't own. They're all colored. Uh, this will work very well on the ceiling, especially if you're laying in bed and you can set it up in such a place that you can watch it. You can watch whatever you want right on the ceiling. It has HDMI on it, so you theoretically can hook that up to your cable box if the uh, digital copy management doesn't get in the way. If it does, you can always use composite. It won't be HD, but hey, at least you can do it, at least in a pinch. Uh, if you have a, a barn outside, a white barn, you can do this outside at night, you know, and have a display on there. Uh, you can do that. It'll project up to 180 inches of a display. Uh, of course, that all depends on how close or far it is. The closer it is to where you're projecting, of course, the brighter it will be. Uh, it has a 2,000 to 1 contrast ratio, 800 by 480p native resolution. It did play 1080p video without any problem as well. Uh, the speakers, like I explained, are built into it and sounded pretty good for just a plain projector. Um, again, th this can you know you can route the sound out any way you want. You can hook up to a computer either via HDMI or the old school VGA connection there. Everything I did was right off of a USB flash drive, uh, just with the built-in software on here, just to play some movies and uh, audio and stuff like that. This can also interface with a smartphone. However, you will need to purchase an adapter cable for your phone to route it out to a particular connection that this has on it. So the functionality is there if you can find an appropriate cable. Again, that type of thing would not be included with this unit. It's a really nice small size, just about the size of my hand. <laughs> Very easy to take with you. Everything is really nice about it all around. Uh, and as far as the focus issue goes, that was purely user error. This otherwise produced, once I got that ironed out, an excellent, excellent picture. So once again, this was the Ape Man. 3800 lumen 1080p projector has a lot of inputs on it and connectivity so you can project just about anything that you'd like through this whether it be from a video source of some kind a flash drive or through a computer if you'd like to purchase this item I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.